Now Darren Farwell of the Farwell Group joins us so we can learn more about investing for our future tax efficiently. Good morning, Darren. Good morning, Marilyn. Hey, there's nothing like the snow this past week to remind us why we call it the Great White North. Well, Marilyn, our clients know, and I do hope that our From a Woman's Perspective listeners know, that we're here to help when you need us. But as importantly, we are also here to help people you care about. So when a family member expressed their concern about not making money to one of my clients, my client said, call Darren. And he did. Henry called me. And we weren't on the phone long before Henry said, Darren, my savings are falling behind. And I'm afraid that if my wife or my wife and I, or even by some chance, he said himself, lives past our life expectancy, we might actually run out of money. So I listened to more about what's important to him, and we even were able to get uh, his wife on the phone for for a little bit. She joined us uh, on the call for a little while. Uh, I wanted to listen to what was important to them, what they wanted to get done, and importantly for him, because he had called me about it, what kept him up at night. Interestingly, Henry said that no one in the financial world had ever listened to him like that not to mention include his wife in the conversation. Well, active listening is a built-in part of our process. Uh, But unfortunately, um, that apparently is quite different. I offered Henry three tips to help ensure your savings don't fall behind. Number one, work with a professional advisor. Henry said that he does. So apparently, as we just discussed, that advisor isn't doing a good job of listening. So how could we expect best outcomes? Number two, check in on your investments on a schedule. Henry said that he did have semi-annual calls with his advisor prior to COVID. Well, that's good. I mean, for most people, quarterly, semi-annual or annual reviews are actually quite enough. Uh, uh, Checking online every day, well, lots of people do it, but I'd suggest that's probably quite more than enough. But it's not a good idea that those reviews that Henry was doing stopped after COVID because the economy certainly didn't. Number three, have a clear, proven process to adjust your savings based on what's happening in the economy and in the stock market. And when I asked Henry about that, he said he had no idea what the process is for managing his savings. And as far as he could tell, very little had changed since 2020. That's not good. And unfortunately, this is also something we see a lot. Henry's savings were not being managed with a specific process to keep up to date. As a result, Henry's savings were falling behind. Our team, the Farwell Group, does have a process. I explained our process to Henry, and I'm happy to share that process with our From a Woman's Perspective listeners who would like to hear more. This Thursday, this Thursday coming up, January 27th, At 6 p.m., me and my team will be sharing our Outlook 2022 presentation, and you're invited to join. During my presentation, my part of the presentation in particular, I will discuss our process for keeping your savings in the right place for the current circumstances. This is a critical part of ensuring your savings don't fall behind so you don't have to worry about running out of money or worry about having enough to do those things that are important to you. As I said, I did review our process uh, with Henry in a follow-up virtual meeting that we had, but he's still going to join me and my team for our Outlook 2022 presentation this Thursday, and I hope you will too. Well, I'm registering and I'll be there. January 27th, 6 p.m. Just call 
863-7501 to register and get the link. So join me and the others who don't want to run out of money and chase their savings. Darren, thanks for that information and thanks for sharing Henry's story. I'll see you on Thursday. See you on Thursday, Marilyn. All the best.